Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and our next installment of the Hidden Object Trifecta. So today's game is the Three Musketeers Secrets Constance's Mission, developed by Funlinker Games, came out in 2011. Let's get started. And again, for those of you who haven't watched any of my videos, our hidden object trifecta is first the gameplay. Is it fun and challenging? Do graphics and artwork? Is it good to look at and does it immerse you? And uh, numero trace the actual storyline, which I still maintain is the most important. So, okay, apologies about the color here. I'm not sure what happened. I've played this game a couple times before, and go ahead and start a new profile. Okay, so I had to start a new profile. But yes, yeah, so as for the colors, some sort of glitch with my computer. Constance here is supposed to be a redhead and not blue from the waist up. But as you can see from that, we do get a little computer animation, which I do enjoy. And we'll start the game. This plotter, I've been looking for him for weeks, and he invades the Queen's room, and I missed him again. What a shame. Luckily, he dropped his bag. Maybe it can tell me more about why he was trespassing in the palace. The plotter was so reckless to jump to another roof. He must be hiding some terrible secrets if he does this. I can't overcome this distance, so I need something really long to hook the bag with. Maybe the kind of a fishing rod. And apologies for the chewing sounds you're going to hear today. I'm eating my lunch. Well, there's a lot of stuff, and I can make something useful of it. I guess this claw hammer will surely come in handy. Okay. Yeah, we can't really turn the tutorial off here. Which kind of annoys me. We've got a hook. Here are our tasks. We gotta get the bag. So we have a hook, but we need something to actually stick it onto. Chimney brush, nice and long, come in handy and reaching bag. It's too dirty to pick up. So yes, we're going to be very delicate and get a rope. So yeah. so yeah, pretty simple. Just you gotta take the ones on top first. They can't be crossing over in any way. If I try to take this one, that doesn't work. And there we go. We got the gloves. And we got a hidden object here. Kind of unique in that we have to sort of move all of our junk around to find our objects. First is the ring. Thing just sort of slowly moves aside. Wait, 
Where is the ring? And there it is. And yes, I still go in my slightly OCD order. <clears throat> what do we get from this? Some rope. So yeah, now we can make a sort of hook. Yeah, so we just sort of stick everything together real quick. Not too hard. And we'll use our hook to grab the bag. And what's inside? A letter in a very fancy envelope. Oh, there's a secret concord of France and Spain. The potter has stolen it from the Queen's palace, Queen's place. It'd be a great problem if England knows of it. I must deliver this to the Queen immediately. So yeah, that's sort of concord, which I'm guessing is something similar to a treaty. My dear Constance, I received a letter this morning from the Spanish ambassador asking me to meet him in secret. He said he had information for my brother, the King of Spain. My queen, your secret concord of France and Spain was stolen. Luckily, I found it. Here it is, and don't come to that meeting. Your life is in danger. Thank you, Constance. It could cause great problems if England knows of the concord. See, every little snippet of our cutscene sort of goes until you click. I don't want to miss a meeting, but it's dangerous to come there. Constance, you are the only person who can help me. Pretend me and go to the meeting. Ambassador is a new man in the kingdom, so he won't detect the fake. And yeah, so everybody's blue, I don't know why. So yeah, we disguise. That's sort of a very unique thing in this game, is we get to play dress up. Let me get dressed, select the clothing and accessories that you want me to wear from the wardrobes behind me and the table in front of me. Correct choices, so we have this progress bar that we need to fill up until it's green. So for this mission, I have to dress like the queen. I should choose regal-looking attire with royal symbols and attributes. I also need to disguise my face. So yeah, this is something that I find very interesting, is that... It, this is something I don't think I've ever seen in any other game, where you have to play dress-up. So you need to dress like the queen, so... We just sort of go with the fanciest dresses we got. And we need to fill this bar up pretty much once it hits green. Then we're good to go. Is that little fur thing? We'll use the white wig and a crown because we're trying to look like a queen. And some gloves. That's just proper. And I just want to, you know, see just how far we can get the progress bar up. So we're going to just go ahead and complete it all. What, are we only allowed one? Okay. So yeah, so that's pretty good. I think it's kind of fun to have that little mini game. Welcome, your majesty. I have a letter from your brother. Please have a seat while I go and get it. Her Majesty said she suspected some connection between the Ambassador and Cardinal Richelieu. Now's my chance to look around for clues. So yeah, if you're at all familiar with the story of the Three Musketeers, Cardinal Richelieu should be a familiar name to you. Yeah, and I kind of like the hidden objects here that are throughout most of the game because they're literally all sort of connected around the same theme. Which is, again, something you don't see all that often. Like, first thing is chess piece. Cardinal Richelieu is an avid chess player. A little pouch. I'm not sure what the pouch is about, but something. Red hat, which looks like something a cardinal would wear. Coins, of course. map. 
thought was one of the letters. Okay, letters. We can assume are written by the cardinal. So I, I do kind of enjoy having it all serve around a theme. In most hidden object games, when you do a hidden object scene, you're looking for just random stuff. And only one of it is actually practical. Signet ring, of course, Cardinal wear a signet. Statue. A couple of books. Of course, these in HK Man's a lot of books. <clears throat> a cross, of course, and a rosary, because what cardinal doesn't have a rosary? So ambassador is connected to cardinal, I'm sure there must be some cardinal's permission letters. It'd be useful to find or make one. Ah, I just heard the king's voice. There'll be a big scandal if he sees us together. I have a secret room here that no one knows about. Quickly, your majesty, hide. Why has the king come here so late when the queen's supposed to be here? It seems to not just be a coincidence. I have to hide there, but find a way to look what's going on. See so yeah, the king, aka Queen's husband. Gotta find some way to look outside. Got a little stool here. You see his paying there's a peak hole. Spy holes. If I look through them I can see right into the ambassador's room. See so yeah, how King of France came by, same time. This was all a setup, obviously, for the queen to get her in trouble. So, Ambassador, what's all this about a surprise? Forgive me, Your Majesty, I don't know what surprise you're talking about. The Cardinal told me that you had something interesting to show me here. So that's good old Richelieu. Your Majesty, the only thing you might be interested in here is chess. So, Cardinal, you brought me here at midnight just to play chess? And we have a Mad King. And Cardinal just threw something in the fire. Poor Ambassador needs a drink. And passed out. Is he an extreme lightweight, or was there something in there? What did Cardinal just throw in the fire? The letter can clarify the situation. I need to get it. I have to hurry up with saving the letter from the fire. We're gonna grab this cup. And we'll get some water from the vase here. Throw that on the fire. Technically, we didn't need to hurry because, again, it's a hidden object game. Still too hot to stick my hand in. Say so we need some sort of fire poker. I'll do this hidden object since it's already in the way. Yeah, the cutscenes, they're they're animated, which I appreciate, but it, they're sort of very it's sort of very odd the way they work in that you get like two seconds of movement, then you gotta click continue sort of keep it flowing, so it, it doesn't have much of a flow to it, but, I don't know, it's nice that they put the effort into it. Keys, where are keys? So, yeah. So, as you can see, our, our queen was set up, thankfully. They were smart enough to send Constance in her place. So she didn't get caught with the ambassador late at night. So obviously that would have caused all sorts of problems for her. There they are. So, or a pocket watch. Carnet. Uh, what's a carnet? That was a carnet. Whatever that was. 
they get one of those cases where you'll see a word in a hidden object scene and have no idea what it is. Sometimes you get lucky. So we got a thing of cheese. So the wine was poisoned. It had to make us asleep and they supposed to find here Queen and Ambassador sleeping deeply. Oh, Queen be demolished if they did. Luckily I was there and didn't drink the wine. I got a key here. So I don't have anything to cut it. Alright, so now we got a knife, so we'll get the key out. We'll go back to this room. Let's be something we can use. Fire poker, so we can use that to get the letter out. Your Majesty, I know I have no right for this, but I must confess I'm a villain. I'm a traitor. I've outraged all the laws, for I dared to love you. I beg you to accept my favor. I'll do anything if you agree to be only my queen, but if you refuse, I won't let it be. You'll be mine or we'll be at war. Waiting for your answer, A. Eh? Thought bubble. There definitely is some plot. Either Cardinal has some feelings to Queen, or he tried to accuse her in an affair with the Ambassador. Anyway, it looks like he wants to start the war between France and Spain, or at least to ruin our friendship. I have to find letters that prove that Ambassador works for Cardinal. King trusts Rich to lose, so he won't believe Cardinal is a plotter without solid proofs. Got this cat here. Something underneath it, but we gotta get rid of him. I do that. Well, we got a little mouse here. Mess up. And we got a little what is a satchel that we're gonna stick the mouse in. That moved the cat. That's a code of some kind. Blank sheet of the Cardinal's official paper. If stamped with the Cardinal seal, it could be used for official state business. Which is always nice to have. Anyway, we have a lock. So yeah, we need to fix this. Simple little puzzle. Just rotate everything till it fits. the decoder and the secret code. So this is all we're given is, it's not even all the letters, it's not even all the letters that we need here. But it gives us enough to where you can sort of figure out the rest. Antonio Fernandez, so uh, we'll just start the beginning. Here, the eyes, obviously just a straight line. Pick our eye. And it goes ahead and fills in all the eyes, which is nice. Or it might be smarter to just go ahead and go this way. So all our A's we'll go here. Our N's. Our this one. T. It's the upside down arrow. And we've already finished two words. At and in. So yeah, it's kind of a fun little game. And again, one you don't see much in these sorts of games. So I think, for the most part, they do have some pretty unique games in this one. And yes. 
there actually is no S in here. So those are all the letters that were given by this little piece here. We sort of have to guess what that is, but you know, by this point, you can sort of figure out what thing is. Like obviously, this is all. What could this letter be? Do the W. I'll wait for you. See, so yeah, it's nice, and I kind of like the fact that I don't just go ahead and give you everything. I'll give you a bit of a challenge for it. Garden. Near the orangery at midnight. Midnight. I'll bring the money from Cardinal. Signed, Milady. Wow, I've decrypted the letter. It seems Milady has given the wine to Ambassador and forced him to invite Queen and make her drink the wine. Milady serves Cardinal. So this meeting was directed by him to ruin France, Spain, friendship. Yeah, I still got a few things to do here. There's something more to do out here. Now we need to finish this letter here. So we need wax. It should be in one of these drawers. There we go, we have some wax. Which will heat up so we can put it on here. And we still need a seal. Which we got right there. So that seals the letter. It's a guardsman uniform. You had a little piece of clothing to see around. We're gonna go ahead and grab that, because you never know. Dear Constance, she's all she's she just sort of grabs everything when she sees it just in case it'll come in handy. We're gonna go ahead and take this. Chopped up suit. There's a feather over here for the hat. And so we need the sword. So all parts should be in here. See yeah, all the parts are in there. Uh, okay. Wait. There it is. And we've got our complete outfit. And now we can head to the palace. Your Majesty, the secret meeting turned out to be a trap. It was set up by the Cardinal, but I don't know why. I need to visit his place for more clues. Careful, Constance, you'll need a disguise. I'll pretend to be a guardsman. I even have the uniform. So, yeah. So, we get a little description. Dress in the black guardsman uniform to appear almost invisible at night. Remember to cover up your pretty face, too. So, yeah. Pre pretty simple assignment here. Just dress in black. Yeah, we need to look like a guy. So use that one. It's hard to put the gloves on. You gotta click on like right, just the right spot to put the gloves on. And the mask just to complete it. And we filled the progress bar all the way up. Chapter two. Cardinal must be asleep. I'll carefully and quietly investigate the house to see if I can find out more about what he's up to. I'll start by looking for evidence of his connection to England. So, yeah. We 
can move these up. So we got Dev in a cage. So yeah, we're looking for things that sound English. That implicates our cardinal as working with the English. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I have not read the Three Musketeers, the, the original story. I, I saw one of the movies, and it wasn't even like one of the old classic movies. <laughs> so my knowledge on how the original storyline goes is kind of lacking. I know the basics. That tea strainer. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so obviously the story. It, there's really very little about the actual Three Musketeers. We do get a visit from D'Artagnan, but. You know, it's Constance's mission, so we're sort of focused on what Constance is up to. There's the tea strainer. A couple of coins. British coins. A teapot. English horn. Not a ship and bottle, I guess that's I guess that's English. A map of England. Plaid, a crest, and oh, I need two crests. And a teacup, which we saw over here. So he has an interest in England, but I need more information. And now that we've finished that hidden object, now we got a bunch of other stuff around. And our mouse turns blue whenever there's something that can help us. Feather. Yeah, got all these chess pieces. We gotta find ten of them. And some books. Piece of paper. Maybe invisible ink. We'll come back to that in a minute. There's a maid's dress here. I better take it. I doubt anyone will notice. Yeah, you know, somebody just sort of shredded a maze uniform and left it here. So yeah, that the gameplay here is sort of the big big deal. Storyline is more or less simple, you know, it's protect the queen from getting screwed over by Cardinal. Not much to it. Okay, there should be like one more piece of this. But the gameplay, they did pull out effort into you got. There's always constantly some sort of thing to do. People usually have two ears. Usually. Must be another one. <clears throat> yeah, bookcase. Need to find all the books first. And the yeah, painting is all messed up. And so we got a puzzle to do. This one's not, not too bad. Very standard kind of puzzle. Thank you. 
should I fix up this painting? Painting reminds me of an old nursery rhyme from my childhood. Of course. To the high tower in the faraway highlands leads ye the road, my fair white knight. A bishop blessed ye for thy crusade, and thy man prepared thy long sword right. The baleful black king with his black man will challenge ye there, my brave knight. But when ye return in thy bards, blackened with dust, thy fair queen will meet ye with a cup full of wine. Yes, you will have to remember this. Note the yellow words. Let's head over to Cardinal's bedroom real quick. Cardinal's asleep. So yeah, we got a... It should be quiet if Cardinal realizes somebody was here. I can flush him and his associate. I have to uncover the whole conspiracy. Yeah, we gotta stick our earplugs in there. Did the trick but only for one ear. I need to get them to roll over so I can put the other earplug. Which is apparently going to happen by tickling his feet. Makes sense. So now you won't hear a thing. A lot of things in here that come from Spain. I wonder what the Cardinal's connection is to that country. I should gather up the things as evidence. So yeah. Now everything's filled with stuff from Spain. The yellow items are things we can't really see. Anchorchief. Mayan statuette. Rose. And a mantilla, which is that thing. Not sure why Cardinal would have a mantilla in his room. Another signet ring. Watch. And finally, some wine. evidence I can. I wish I could find out more about what the cardinal is up to. Picture is movable, but I can't even budget. There must be a secret mechanism. Go and grab that knife. Never know when you need a knife. Let's see what else we could have grabbed here. Is there anything over here we can grab? Another book. Yeah, the last two books. No, no, blast. We need more books. But we have more books. Okay. Uh, so. Pull it back to the other room. There's one more book. Two more chess pieces. And one more chess piece. There it is. We need one more book. 
You gotta do the chessboard bit. Use your white knight to defe defeat the black king. Click on the knight to move it to an available space. Free squares will be highlighted. Click undo to take back the last move you made. So, yeah. And so yeah, we just sort of click around until we're able to take the knight, the king, and checkmate. So now we have a little key. What is the little key for? Is there anything we saw that needed a key? Uh, that I recall. Oh, there's that last plug. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go over to the bookcase now. And it went ahead and stuck our books in. So this game, we gotta put all the books in order. So we have these backgrounds in the back that sort of help us with which area goes where. Like, you see this one looks sort of like a chess board, so this is where all the chess pieces are going to go. So I'll just go ahead and stick them all in here, just so they're all there. And that nursery on before, high tower, white knight, bishop, man, black king, black man, knight, queen. So high tower, aka rook. White Knight, a Bishop Blessed G, there's the Bishop, the Man, Black King with his Black Man, yes, yeah, so they're all, yeah, they let you know when they're all in the right order. So this we sort of see, sort of paisley, florally pattern, which means we're going to stick the books with the leaves here. And this one's pretty simple, just in increasing number of leaves. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So they're all in the right place now. And these just alphabetical. Something move in the bedroom. Picture raised up. So yeah. Another rotating puzzle. This one, you basically just sort of rotate everything until you have a very seamless connection. Yeah, so of this few, and you got the shadows. Even the shadows have to line up. It's a very detail oriented puzzle. It's a bottle. Put 
which yeah, we'll go ahead and use on that piece of paper with invisible writing. So you literally just move the mouse around. And this is what the cardinal felt the need to write invisible ink. Always keep important information under your head. In a pillow, how on earth can I get to always in the bed? Anything about this? Well, we can actually do that. I don't see how this could ever possibly work. You know, cutting in somebody's pillow while it's there. Dear Cardinal, though we don't know each other, but we have a, a lot in, in common. Like you, I don't like their majesties. I'm also fully confident that your government will be much more fair and better than today's. Thus, I suggest you come this night to the place mentioned Overleaf, so you can see with your own eyes the blood of their majesties are. The ambassador's address is on the Overleaf. I wonder if the Cardinal is using that as an alibi, or we, was he himself a victim? Sooner or later, I'll get to the bottom of it. And here we have the diary. The meeting with the queen went wrong, and the ambassador will pay for that. But tomorrow, D'Artagnan's death will be in the tavern. It is inevitable. This should weaken the musketeer's morale. And the king as well, for D'Artagnan is a favorite and my enemy too. After this, I'll be able to do what I planned. Oh no, this is serious. I need to warn the queen, but before I go, I should put everything back the way it was so the cardinal doesn't realize someone's been snooping. Yeah. Set that all up there. We sew it up. And we take out the earplugs. Again, I don't think anybody could actually pull this off without waking the guy up. Your Majesty, the Cardinal is definitely plotting something. I found out that tomorrow is planning to kill D'Artagnan in the tavern to weaken the morale of the Musketeers. Well, if D'Artagnan is so important to the Musketeers that the Cardinal wants him dead, he must be protected at all costs. So we have to go to the tavern to save D'Artagnan. It's like a barmaid. Remember, the clothes of a tavern girl should be simple, uncomplicated, orderly, and clean. Over here first. Yeah. An apron. And we'll go ahead and take the basket of food with us. Mm, yeah, that should be good for now. Saving D'Artagnan. Where's Meredith? We got a lot of visitors coming in. She's not work. She's sick, so I'm covering for her. What would you like me to do? Prepare the food, pour the beer, and set the tables because we're about to get a big crowd and fix the fire. It's freezing in here. Okay, I'll start now. Wait, I'm not finished yet. This morning I spilled up my ammo all over the basement floor, and without it, my pistol's nothing but a useless piece of iron. Pistol. We got little pieces of paper everywhere that we're gonna pick up. Take our torch. We'll head to the kitchen to make the food. Here's where the meal's prepared. I better get everything organized. And a quick hidden object. Find all the food. Bread. 
can say the artwork in this game is pretty good. It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing spectacular, but it's enough to where it was like you can tell they put effort into it. And so there's the food. There we go. We've made food. We'll check out this knitting basket. Spoke. hidden objects can be fun but they can also be kind of annoying so keep having to move everything around at least it's not one of those ones where you literally have to click on everything and drag it elsewhere to find it those ones can be really annoying where is that last symbol? few more pieces of paper. Uh, we find, as well as the beer mug. The mugs for the beer. I need three of those. Yeah, piece of paper. Okay, that's... I think pretty much for now. There's that. I think that's more or less everything we need to do here. Oh good, the meals are ready. Now serve them to the visitors. Show me the table and I'll tell you something about the customer's order. This gentleman who sits here really hates onions. He's got omelet, onion soup, and roast beef. There's that. Let's pay attention to the person who sits here loves eggs. So we'll give him the omelet. And laugh that customer never orders meat. So he gets the soup. So yeah, we got their dishes right. Not too hard. And we'll head down to the basement. We got some stuff to do there. This is also where we get our beer. So we gotta get some light. Okay. Yeah, all the little metal balls. So we got a lot of stuff to find here. We got wood for the fire. We've got the ammo. We've got the rest of the note. This is a beer barrel, but something's jamming it. So we're gonna use the knitting wheel for that. And it had a piece of paper in there. And again, fortunately, the mouse turns blue for us whenever there is something to do. So I'm going in here. Uh, pout or gunpowder. Everything. There's the last bit. And now we have a loaded pistol. Okay, there's still that last. 
piece of paper. Is it down here? Try the hint. Okay, so that was everything we needed here. And we'll pour the beer. Finally, what took you so long? You were down there for ages. Okay, and we'll go and get the fire started. A little bit of kindling. And there we go. There he is. Ah, sure I miss it. Basically, that we got very important wine to serve this guy. That's D'Artagnan. May I serve it? No, no, it's very expensive, so I'll serve myself. Bathing around this train is really what's going on. This afternoon, you'll have the visitor of the musketeer named D'Artagnan, a tall 19 years old Gascon. You must treat him with the wine accompanying this letter. After you do this, you'll be rewarded handsomely. If you don't do that, you'll regret it a lot. Yours faithfully, Cardinal. Oh no, the wine must be poisoned. What can I do? The wine goblet is already in his hand. We're gonna shoot it. And D'Artagnan was saved. Chapter 4. Oh, Your Majesty, why are you cleaning that by yourself? What's happened? My dear Constance, someone tried to assassinate me, but the attempt on my life was thwarted by that young musketeer I don't want anyone to know about because the assassins could have been sent by the Cardinal or by one of our country's enemies. I can't trust anyone. But your master, you shouldn't have to do your own cleaning, and you can always trust me. It doesn't look like anyone heard anything. Don't worry, I'll clean everything up myself. Dress as a chambermaid to avoid unwanted attention while cleaning. So as a queen's chambermaid, not as plain as regular maids, but she still dresses simply and elegantly. Main colors are blue and white. Not quite full, but it works. You must tidy up the chamber, repair the damage caused by the fight, and get rid of any evidence that a fight ever took place here. I'll take care of my queen, and be careful with the carpet, it hides some secrets. In a, an object. So I find this to be a pretty unique game, and... Also, I kind of feel like it's a really good game for girls in particular. Because, I mean, sort of everything we're dealing with, it not only sort of shows a, you know, our main protagonist is a woman sort of saving the country. Or doing her part to save the country, at least. But, and... I mean, you've got all this, and then you sort of got that one little bit that, yes, to be a little stereotypical, will appeal to girls, the dress-up. But I think this is a pretty unique game as far as what it does. I appreciate it. Where's that other handkerchief? I thought that was a piece of paper. And now I have to clean up the rest of the mess. And like the chandelier kind of got a little busted, so we got sweet. Gotta find like 10 million different things in this part. And again, fortunately, we sort of have that added help of mm, 
and find the differences seen. See if I can actually find all the differences. Fortunately, in this one, they give you a hint button, which is really all you need if you can't if you can't find any everything and find the difference game. You know, kind of noise. It annoys me when they don't just offer you a hint. It's either find everything all on your own or skip the whole dang puzzle. And you'll wind up like one short. One short. And because you don't get a hint, you gotta... You gotta either sit there for ten years trying to find it, or you gotta skip it. found everything is like on a two more Nice music in the background. Oh, there's a bookmark. One, one more thing. We'll try to avoid using the hint. can use the hint. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright. What else? Much we can do. Let's try looking somewhere else. There's a very bloody battle here. It's in the leg. And we need some tools. Or we'll go ahead and hang the flag back up. Okay. And this is where our tools are, aka a hammer and nails. We've got like 50 different things that look like nails, but only Certain things count. We got screws, we got whatever these things are, we got bolts, nuts, but we only want the nails. and hammer all that. There we go. Let's see a few things around here. Alright. Yeah, that's just about everything we can grab here. We can't clean up the blood stains until we have a wet rag. Everything. 
Go again and get that wag rat. Ice bucket. And this, you don't even have to click, you just run it over. And it cleans the blood up. And we're done there. So I got all these painting pictures, and apparently in the fight, all the paintings got torn up. We had to find the inappropriate items in all these pictures. Balls, a bow, and a snake. So this picture's good. Yeah, we got four pictures to do. That's a gear was here or something like that. Yeah. So what else does not fit? Oh, there's a bug. Yeah, definitely a few things that don't really make sense in this one. And there we go. That one's not too hard. I'll go ahead and bring... And now we fix the chandelier. And we'll use this. Use this too. Yeah, it gets that up there. It gives us a sword. Back to the last room. Yeah, this guy's missing his shield, and this guy is missing his sword. Ah. We're still missing one piece of our suit of armor, which somewhere. Amongst all this, One more piece, where is it? Not here. Oh, there it is. That yeah, was kind of hidden. Particularly hard. I'm clicking on it. we build the suit of armor up. Thank you, Constance. Once again, you've proven invaluable to me. What can I offer you as a reward? Your Majesty serving you is reward enough. Well, I won't let you leave here without a token of my gratitude. Forgot the gratitude. I can't talk. Here, please take this beautiful dress. Thank you, Your Majesty. My queen, we found the body of the Spanish ambassador at his residence, and that's not all. There were signs that the musketeers had been there. Oh my, who else knows about this? I'm the only one. Keep silent about what you saw and you'll be rewarded handsomely. So yeah, we need to go to the crime scene so the musketeers don't get 
accused of murder. Dress like the Cardinal's guards and remember to wear the Cardinal's emblem and carry a weapon. a bit more fancy version of our black outfit from before and we gotta wear the cape thing and we'll go ahead and take a gun falsified evidence What luck the Cardinal appears to be out. I need to hurry up and find evidence that will implicate the Cardinal and his guards. See, so yeah, at first, we're gonna stop by here and grab a bunch of the Cardinal stuff. At first, we're grabbing, like, the guard stuff. So I think obviously we can assume that the Cardinal and his guards did kill the Ambassador. But we need to make it look that way. Because obviously they didn't leave their own stuff there. The hilt. Where's that last pistol? I do really appreciate though that yeah, every time we're in a hidden object we are actually looking for things that make sense. Luckily for me the Cardinals a slob he's left his stuff all over the place. And now we're gonna grab a bunch of the Cardinal stuff. the other spur. belongings. I need to plant these as evidence to implicate the Cardinal instead of the Musketeers, but how can I get to the Ambassador's chambers? I have some Spanish clothes in my wardrobe. Maybe it's time to put them on. So yeah, we're gonna pretend to be the Ambassador's sister. So we have to dress like we're in, in mourning for our brother. So all black. Right there, we 
can use to maybe up that one more. Why not? No one is allowed in here. Who are you? Please, kind sir, I'm the sister of this poor man whose life ended so tragically. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. I didn't know you had us here. Please accept my deepest apologies. Thank you. Could you leave me alone for a few moments? Yes, of course. So, first we gotta pick up all the musketeer stuff that was left here to frame them. situation this is actually how they try to show or make it look like the musketeers did they're making it really obvious Removed all evidence implicating the musketeers and planted new evidence so that everyone will think the cardinals now responsible get started. So yeah, so we've got to place all of our objects in their corresponding places. Let me see. Okay, we got three different pistols that kind of look the same. This is again sort of unique game. It's kind of like find the differences, but instead you're putting them all back in. different feathers that we gotta place. So yeah, the, the implication being that if Cardinal's men do an assassination, they leave feathers everywhere. Next, so now musketeers will be above suspicion and that handsome fellow D'Artagnan is safe too. Everything's taken care of. I removed all the planned evidence that tied the musketeers to the murder. Good work. Oh, by the way, D'Artagnan was here earlier. He was hoping to see you, but I didn't let him know what you were really up to. He left this letter for you. Madame Bonacieux. I hope I pronounced that right. I was very upset not to find you at the palace, but I hope for the future meeting. I'd be the happiest man in the world if you accept my offer to dine together this night. Then if you have no other plans, I'll be waiting for you at my residence. Sincerely yours, D'Artagnan. So yeah, we got a date. My dear, take the night off and go on a date with this young man. You've already done so much for the kingdom. With pleasure, Your Majesty. A date with the handsome D'Artagnan. I'm actually looking forward to this. But first, I should get dinner for the two of us at the tavern. For that, I'll need to change into something ordinary looking so I don't call attention to myself. Just like an everyday citizen. Average citizen, simple, modest clothes. Good. 
speaker. Not to do anything. That's not good. Okay, that works. The hat on. See if we can get that maybe a little bit higher. I don't know if we change out the shoes. There we go. There we go. Chapter 6, the date. You remember me? Of course, you're good with a pistol. What can I do for you? I'm just here to get some food, okay? No problem. Help yourself. Yeah, we got a whole big stack of food. the gameplay here. Storyline pretty simple really. We help the queen, we keep her safe. We help out the musketeers in our own little way. Nobody knows a thing about it. So that's there, and we'll head to the kitchen for some more food. We're obviously making quite a big dinner for two people. Tanyan's really hungry. Yes, we head downstairs. Sure, this is where we're gonna get all our meat, apparently. Looks like we're making one really big dinner. And honestly, if I were to buy this much stuff, I think my fridge would be stocked for a good couple weeks. dress for the date. This is sort of one where we can have a little bit of fun with our dress up. Dress as beautifully as you can to win D'Artagnan's heart. Choose clothing and accessories that bring out your natural grace and charm. So yeah, so here we get to have a bit of more fun with the dress up, I think. 
that here. Our goal is to look pretty. See, so maybe we can go without the shawl. Just curious. And of course, there's no real need to put on a wig for the evening. Put on a necklace, and some earrings. Yeah, I think that's good. And how much higher is it with the shawl? That's a good bit higher with the shawl, so we'll leave the shawl. So yeah, we get very fancied up. My fair lady, if you are here, then I'm the happiest man in the world. But unfortunately, I've got a duel this evening, and the refusal will mean dishonor to me. But after that, I'll come as soon as possible. Please be quiet at home till that time. With love, D'Artagnan. These men are just like little kids with all their fighting. While he defends his honor, I'll attack the mess in this house. It's clearly the home of a bachelor. See, I got another find the differences. Make this place. So we're, we're going to clean up his house a bit. So that's always what you do when you go to a guy's house for a date. You clean it up for him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see if you actually noticed that one. There was one missing stair here. The only reason I got that is because I'm played this game before and that was like the last thing that I couldn't find last time and it was driving me nuts <sighs> yeah so yeah if you want to go and play this game just remember while the find the miss find the differences you gotta literally notice that there's one fewer stairs on one side So just go ahead and count the stairs. <laughs> Hopefully I'll find all of these differences. What else is there? Maybe there's one. Oh, there it is. Some lump there. I'm not sure what that was. There, that's much nicer. Now I can start cooking our dinner and get ready for the date. So, we got a few different things we're going to be doing around here. Secret door, but the handle's missing. See, on top of it all, we're, we're gonna snoop just a little bit. Up to the bedroom. This place would be a nice place to have dinner. What's that, a spare uniform? I have a feeling I might need this, so I'm gonna borrow it. I hope D'Artagnan doesn't mind. So yeah, mine's always on the job, so we're gonna sneak away D'Artagnan's spare uniform. <laughs> And pray he doesn't notice and get mad. Well, D'Artagnan, this is what you get when you don't come on time for your date. You risk your uniform getting stolen. So 
this is where we'll set the table. And there are a few things we're going to pick up. to the kitchen. Better clean the kitchen. Oh, I know grease. I'm assuming it's not blood this time. We need to chop everything. Uh, do you know we got all dressed up? And now we gotta cook. Cook dinner. Couple spoons. Some play settings. We need a knife still. Chop everything up. Where's a knife? Uh, on somewhere else. Let's check the bedroom again. room in the kitchen. Why couldn't I just use that one? Another little hidden object. get dinner ready. Okay, so... So how we're putting everything into the... 
that's how we're making the stew. We're showing the picture or the silhouette of the ingredient, and we have to find the ingredient, which is fairly unique. It's kind of a cool way. I'm starting to like the music in the background, it grows on you. If you get it wrong, they just switch to the next ingredient. Or if you wait too long, I'm guessing. got a, a stew. Again, we got all dressed up and we got we cleaned the guy's house and we made dinner. So I think we can assume what happened there. And now chapter 7. Apparently we got kidnapped. Don't remember how I got out here. I must find who brought me here and why. I'll look around for a way out. A few things we can pick up. Something inside the soap. Flint in here so we can make a little fire. Yeah. And we're free. Your voices come from behind that door. There's a woman arguing with the man. I'll take a peek through the keyhole. What a complete and utter failure. All of our letters, they're meant to trick the king into seeing his queen with another man, but nothing went according to plan. Nothing, and I think the queen is starting to suspect something. We can't risk another mistake. Yes, milady, and there, there was that business with D'Artagnan. He was supposed to die in the tavern, but then that mysterious woman appeared and spoiled everything. Even the false evidence I planted in the ambassador's house is gone. Someone took them and left the guardsmen's belongings instead. What should we do with our prisoner? Let her be for now. As long as D'Artagnan and the musketeers are looking for her, they won't be around to bother me. I wrote all of our plans down this letter. Hide it carefully. If I'm not back in a day, open it and do exactly what it says. I must get out into that room and find the letter. It's proof of their treachery. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the sand. And we're gonna break the box. Very humid in here, and the rope's slightly damp. It won't burn unless I make it more flammable. Okay, so those work. Okay. Alright, so now we got we got alcohol. Which I bet knows burns very easily. And now we'll burn it. Thank 
two. And we've got a key. I shouldn't go through until I find a way to mow, but yes, we need a few more bits of sand. Okay, so now we'll head in. You, how did you escape? I won't tell you anything. Leave me alone, I won't tell you anything. Let's see what we can find. We got pieces of, I'm guessing, another note. Or a bed sheet, no. That's how we'll get out of here. It's the bed sheets. So yeah, we can climb down. Frame, but where's the painting picture? So yeah, these little things we found. The rest, I imagine, were right down there as well. Should be one more somewhere. There it is. Go fix the picture. Yeah. See again, another puzzle. This time, everything just sort of lights up when you got it right. Easy peasy. Lady, if you're reading this letter, it means either I'm not among the living or that I've done what I planned and was caught. I've described all my plans in my last attempt to destroy the kingdom. His Majesty and Cardinal harmed us a lot, and they'll pay for that. Once when I was at Cardinal's residence, I've stolen his favorite dagger, gifted him by the king. This very dagger will end the life of the queen. Cardinal won't avoid the king's wrath, and everything will f be finished with him. I order you to kill Constance, for it's of no use... For it's no use of her for us now. R. You and your friend will pay for the price for your treachery and scheming. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and foil your plans yet again. Ah, uh, not this time, sweetie. We'll see, won't we? So, we need to get out of here, but we need one more piece of bed sheet. Somewhere. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it. I must hurry to the palace. I pray that I get there in time. Chapter 8 Saving the Queen. You can't just walk in here, my lady. Only the musketeers may enter, and you don't have the proper uniform. Oh, I see my mistake. So now we dress up like a musketeer with D'Artagnan's uniform that we stole.
prepare to be clean shaven in this case. And so yeah, we're good to go. Help us, the kingdom is in trouble. The queen is gone, but no one has seen her leave the palace or even this floor. Start searching immediately. Give this letter to commander. It will lead you to the people responsible for this crime. Yes, my lady, and by the way, take this. I'm not sure what it was, but it was found on the floor of the queen's bedroom. Thank you. It's a little ball on the planets. Something under the bed. We need something long to fish it out. Can't really use a dagger for that. All these footprints everywhere. Probably use that to get that whatever it was out from under the bed. Another one of those planets. We have here the other planets, but it's a little dirty. So light is the center of the world, obviously. The first planet shows the maximum value. The second planet outstrips the next one for one hour. The third planet is on equal distance from the fourth and the fifth ones. The fourth planet is four hours behind the seventh one. Fifth planet outdistance the sixth one for four hours. The sixth planet is one hour behind the first one. The seventh planet has the less value. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six planets listed here and then the moon. Okay. What do we have at the table now? So yeah, plant will be the one thing we actually needed. I can grab it, what the heck? And yet another signet. We find a lot of signets in this game, don't we? I think this is probably going to be one of my shorter videos. Feels like we've been going through this one kind of quickly. Uh, can we do it here? We got another picture which we didn't see earlier. How interesting. It's a picture depicting the planets and their symbols. This might be helpful. So yeah, this was sort of the, yeah, the Ptolemaic view of the solar system, which was the idea. Earth as the center, followed by Mew, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Yeah. The very, very incorrect way. Something in the helmet buzz stuck. Anything else in here? No. So what can we use the cloth for? So footprints end here, I need to move the carpet. Yeah, so we have this thing here, but we don't have all the parts yet. I'm not sure what we're supposed to use that for. We'll find some, or, well yeah, we can use it on here, can't we? Yeah. And so we got one more little planet thing to find. 
where that is. I'm not sure. There it is. Okay, so now I got all eight of our little planets. It's down here. So obviously the sun's gonna go in the center. Okay. Now this game. Kind of a pain in the neck. So as we can see, it's supposed to light up when it's in the correct spot. Slide is the center. First planet, aka Mercury, and I need to go back and look at those symbols. I'm what the heck happened there? Okay. Sorry, I don't know what that did. Hit the wrong button. So I need to go back and take a look at that thing that had their symbols. Cause I will never remember those. Okay, so I just took a picture of the symbols, because that's the only way I'm going to actually remember them. Okay. So, we know that Mercury is the first planet. That's this one. So it should go... Okay. So first planet shows the maximum value. See, this is what this game doesn't really make sense for me. So, first plan shows the maximum value. The only thing I can think of is the 12 here. But it doesn't like that. Oh uh, no, we know that's the first, so it should go somewhere in this first circle. Okay. First plan shows the maximum value. The second planet outstrips the next one for one hour. The third planet is on the equal distance from the fourth and the fifth ones. The fourth planet is four hours behind the seventh one. The fifth outdistance is the sixth for four hours. The sixth is one hour behind the first, and the seventh planet has the less value. I'm not I may just wind up guessing and I don't know what the hell is considered the maximum value here. Logically, it makes us put it like somewhere there. Seventh plan planet, which I'm assuming in this case is Saturn. Is the less value? Okay. what they want in this game. Whenever I play it in the past, it's always just wound up impossible. I think I got it once one time, but it took forever. Wait, that's not even the right one. For I had the wrong symbol. Probably a factor. I 
know that they light up when they're in the right spot. But yes, in this game, yes. I don't know what it wants. Okay, so that lit up, so that's right. So, and the, so this is like a mesh between the two different solar system things we saw. So apparently in this case, Lysone World, aka Earth. So it's like we're going by like the order of the Ptolemaic picture that we saw earlier. Moon is the first planet, gets the maximum value. The second planet, which would be Mercury, out, what is it? outstrips the next one for one hour. Outstrips it. Alright, so we know that it can be at this. sure what they mean by outstrips. Oh, I want to take a look at that other one for a quick second. This one, so... Oh, what the... Okay, that's what the... Oh, okay. So the numbers here. Okay, so I need to take a picture of this one, too. So apparently Earth is number two in this scheme. Um, so it should go... Second row, shouldn't it? Okay, so that's where Earth goes. So that means Mercury's number three. Why? Equal distance from the fourth and fifth ones. So seventh planet has the less value, which according to this is Jupiter. Which is this one, so that goes here. At least they block it off. The sixth planet, which is Saturn, is one hour behind the first one. So they got a really screwed up sense of how the solar system works. At least now I get it. Uh, the fifth planet outdistances the sixth one for four hours. So the fifth planet is Mars. Okay, this one. Outdistances six for hours. Four. I don't know what they were thinking with this game. 
And the fourth planet is four hours behind the seventh one. So, number four is Venus. It's Okay. So that leaves us with like five different spots that Mercury can go. Equal distance from the fourth, fourth and fifth. So like here. So I actually figured that puzzle out for once. But what the heck were they thinking with that one? That one made no sense. Your Majesty, I'm so glad you're safe. My dear Constance, thank you for saving me. It's not so much to save you, she just found you in your hideout room. But what about the king? I'm afraid his life is in danger by the order of the Comte de Rochefort. So yeah, that's who R was then. Don't worry, my love, I'm here with you, and Rushfor was caught by the brave young musketeer D'Artagnan and thrown into prison. Everything has ended well. And we're done. That was sort of the end of it all. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so that's the game. So, it's a pretty good game. Storyline. I don't know. Pretty much, it's pretty simple. Not much to it. I don't know how engaging it is, but yeah, it's it's enough to where you want to know what's going on. You know, you got political political intrigue, and of course, the three musketeers and that. Of course, we don't ever really see the rest of the musketeers. We only see Constance. Pretty good. And so yeah, you see her sort of, sort of like sort of behind the scenes deal. It's sort of the idea that she was saving everybody's butt all along, which isn't bad. Sort of a nice storyline, little girl power there. The artwork, I think it's pretty much mostly they just sort of computer rendered all these backgrounds and everything, so. It's nice. It's nice to look at. It's pretty good. And the cutscenes, I, I like the computer animated. I just wish they kind of flowed a little bit more nicely. That you didn't have to click continue every two seconds. And so I'd say the gameplay was probably the best aspect. Is that you got... Yeah, yeah, good hidden object scenes that actually did sort of serve a purpose, you know, other than search for a bunch of random stuff just to find that one knife you need. And yeah, the few few unique games, and then of course, what I find what was really kind of an interesting and unique thing is sort of the the dress up game, because that, that's. I think it's really the only game you'd ever see that has something like that where you have to sort of guess like what's the appropriate outfit to wear to be undercover here. Which I kind of like and like I said, sort of it's a bit of a, a girl power game, you know? You know, sort of everything is sort of up to this young woman Constance. And she's, she's got to save the queen, she's... She gets a boyfriend, and she saves France. So overall, I'd say it's a pretty good game. If you'd like to check it out later. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe for more later, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Yes.